There was plenty of interest in the opinions of a woman never shy about stating them, and Claire Short lived up to reputation, delivering a scathing recollection of the run-up to shock and awe. Looking back, she says she realises her boss had signed up to war with the Americans even as she was trying to fight her corner. Dissenting voices like hers were simply cut out of the equation. And if ever you raised an issue that you wanted to bring to the Cabinet, Tony Blair would see you beforehand and cut it off and say we don't want those things coming to the Cabinet. In the case of Iraq, there was secretiveness and deception on top of that. As International Development Secretary, she warned the rush to war could lead to a chaotic aftermath. Her appeals for more time were ignored. And when on the eve of the conflict she questioned its legality, she was told to shut up. And they all said, Claire, stop! I mean, everything was very fraught by then, and they didn't want me arguing, and I was kind of jeered at to be quiet. She portrayed her boss as a politician frantic to keep him with the Americans, but reserved some of her greatest scorn for the man who actually sanctioned the war. The Attorney General, Lord Goldsmith, she now insists, misled her. I think for the Attorney General to come and say there's an unequivocal legal authority to go to war was misleading. But I thought, this is the Attorney General coming just in the teeth of war to the Cabinet. It must be right. And I think he was misleading us. She stayed in post for weeks after the war before resigning, but says getting funds from the then-Chancellor Gordon Brown was a struggle. He too was outside the loop. Gordon Brown was pushed out and marginalised at the time. Um, and give, having cups of coffee with me and saying Tony Blair's obsessed with his legacy and he thinks he can have a quick war and then a reshuffle, etc. That Blair legacy, she insisted, will be forever tarnished by what happened. He was so frantic to be with America that all that was thrown away. And if he'd done that, his place in history, the UK's role in the world, would have been so much more honourable. She exited to a round of applause from the public. <laughs> Only the second witness to have drawn such a response. Seven years on, Claire Short got to vent her frustration. But one suspects on the topic of Iraq, this won't be the last we hear from her.